There are some great new enhancements to SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2D 2025 that we're excited to share with you. Let's get started by opening a few of the drawings from the Proteus Motion V2 project. As I'm opening them, you can see that they're zoomed in on the different areas of the drawing depending on the last time I closed them. Well now, there's a new interface configuration setting that will zoom to fit when you open any SOLIDWORKS electrical drawing. Now if I enable the setting and reopen any of the drawings, you can see that each drawing is zoomed to fit to the entire drawing in the graphic zone. Looking at one of the bill materials reports, you can see that the Proteus Motion V2 design is fully defined with off-the-shelf connectors and cables, and all the manufacturer part data can be viewed in my library. But how do we get this data in here? Using the new and improved import tool, I can use Excel to add fully defined components and cables to my libraries. Let's generate a new template for connectors. The properties in each column correspond to the same manufacturer part properties in SOLIDWORKS Electrical, and the template clearly indicates the mandatory, required, or optional fields to be entered. If we look at the template that is ready to be imported, all of the manufacturer part properties are defined including the circuit and terminal information. Notice the different separators that are used in both circuits and terminals. As I mentioned, the Excel import tool can also be used for cables. And I can define them entirely, even with the cable core information. With this new import tool, you can quickly add your exact part numbers with all possible properties into your manufacturer part library. The import tool will help verify the content of the Excel file, as well as validate the data, where it will compare and flag any duplicate parts found in your library. If we check out the properties for our component AC1, we can see all the details added to the manufacturer part. Let's focus on cables now and look at some of the significant enhancements made to cable reference management and configuration. Starting with the cable reference properties, you can now set the mark root value for individual cable references. Next, in the Electrical Project tab, we can use the search command to view all of the cables in our active project. Additionally, if I select a cable, I can go directly to it, whether it's in a schematic diagram, line diagram, or I can even go to the origin component that the cable is connected to by choosing Go to Browser. Moving on to cable management, I can now select a cable and delete it regardless of if it's in a single line diagram or schematic diagram. I have the option to preview it before, and then I could go ahead and disassociate and delete the entire cable reference from my design. A design like this with a lot of cables can become complex. Luckily, with these new search, delete, and cable mark properties, you can easily modify and keep track of all cables in your next project. For more advanced cable naming convention, we can leverage two new variables in the cable mark formula. Going into the project configuration, mark tab, we'll modify the cable mark formula. We now have component origin and component destination. I'll add a dash in between them as well. For existing cables, we use the renumber marks command to recalculate and update the cable marks. Let's use the right click go to browser to find AC1 in the component tree. Notice the new auto created sub node to help keep you organized. They've even added a link to the 3D drawing that's been made intelligent this year. Managing complex terminal arrangements in your electrical schematics can be challenging. Luckily now in 2025, the Distribute Terminal feature is here to help. This tool helps you link symbols directly to specified circuits and pins, making it easier to handle complex terminal configurations in your electrical schematics. With an updated Manufacturer Part and Circuits tab, once I add a part, you can see there's a new terminal group below the circuits. Now I can clearly see all terminals and their state for a single circuit. Going into schematics, now I can insert a terminal symbol, find the terminal component that I want to associate it to, and select any individual terminal from the circuit to complete the placement. Now if you look at the properties for X4, you can notice that one of the states changed for the terminal I associated the symbols to. 
This intuitive interface allows for dynamic circuit and pin selection, ensuring accurate symbol to terminal mapping in your electrical schematics. In the terminal strip drawing, Electrical 2025 introduces more complete wire destination details. In this example, we want to show destination components for the wires and cables. Show and organize destination components with wires. Lastly, new to 2025, you can add custom data to your wire termination types. Things like what the wire termination is made out of can be applied here. Like if it's conductive or non-conductive. If it's conductive, what metal is being used? The list goes on of what can be added here now. Any detail about your wires and what's going around them can be captured.